Hi everyone, welcome back to another Martin's Home and Garden Houseplant of the Week. This week we're talking about a super fun and beautiful succulent houseplant um, known as the cotyledon pendens, also commonly called the cotyledon cliff plant. Um, it gets that nat common name from its natural habitat in um, eastern, southern, southeastern Africa, my bad. Um, they grow on the sides of cliffs there, getting, giving them the common name of cotyledon cliff. Um, so these guys are super, super beautiful with their silvery, bluish toned leaves. Um, and they do have a trailing growth pattern, making them perfect for hanging baskets like we have them in here. Um, they also, once they are mature, meaning they're a couple years old, get the most beautiful flowers I have ever seen. Um, they're a coral colored bell shaped flower that hangs at the end of their vine. And they are so stunning and gorgeous. Um, if you look up a picture of them, they're just one of the coolest flowers I've seen. Um, so if you get one of these, it's very exciting, something to look forward to. Um, but they are super easy to care for a succulent, and if you're interested in them, we are going to tell you how to care for them today. And stay tuned at the end of this video. It is National Indoor Plant Week, so we have some fun things planned that we're going to um, tell you more about at the end of this video today. So keep watching. Uh, the first thing we'll talk about for these guys is the lighting requirements. Um, these guys love bright light. Um, they do not need too much direct sun though. They can handle a couple hours of direct sun. Um, they would prefer morning sun since afternoon and midday sun is a little harsh. Um, a couple hours of morning sun will be just fine for them, um, but otherwise putting them as close to a window that doesn't get direct sun is going to be best. Um, no low light for these guys. Avoid low light for these cotyledons as much as possible. Um, they will not do very well in low light at all. And if you notice that your leaves are starting to get large gaps between them as they grow, that probably is a good indicator that you need to give your plant more light. So moving it closer to a window um, should help prevent that large spacing of leaves. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is watering requirements for these. These guys, since they are from the southern, southeastern parts of Africa where they grow on, grow on the cliffs that we talked about before, they do not get a lot of rain. Um, so they have adapted to hold water in their leaves, meaning they do not need a ton of water. They are very drought tolerant. Um, and I like to tell people to wait until the leaves start to turn kind of pruney. They start to wrinkle like a raisin. Um, so waiting until several of the leaves on the vines are wrinkly like that is a good indicator that it's time to water. But you shouldn't really do it sooner than that just to avoid overwatering that can be prone to root rot if they're overwatered, um, which brings me to my next point of making sure that your planter that you have this plant in has a drainage hole in the bottom, which gives that water an escape. Um, so your plant's roots are not just sitting in water, which is what causes root rot. Um, another thing with watering is fertilizer for these guys. They do want a fertilizer during their growing periods, which is typically spring and summer or whenever your plant is actively putting out new growth. Um, so some good fertilizers to use on these is any general cactus succulent fertilizer. This one is miracle Grow Succulent Plant Food. This one is really good um, and it's got a pretty low dose of nutrients in it, so you are not going to run the risk of burning your plant but you will have to use quite a bit of this to get the desired effect since it is so low dose. Um, my favorite that I recommend in every video is the Osmocote Outdoor and Indoor. It is a slow release granular that you just put back into your plant soil every six months. You can set it and forget it. Um, and that just slow releases into the soil whenever you water it. And both fertilizers will also help to boost growth and those beautiful blooms I mentioned. Um, so the next thing we'll talk about is humidity for these guys. These guys, since they are from a really dry climate, are not going to be picky about humidity at all. They just don't want a ton of it. So I would not put these next to any sort of humidifier um, or in a bathroom. It's probably not the best place for these because there's lots of humidity from showers in there. Um, but keeping these in just your regular AC to indoor environment is going to be just fine for these guys. Um, 
The last thing we'll talk about for the cotyledons is the soil requirements for these. These guys do need a really well-draining soil, just like I mentioned earlier. Anything that's gonna keep their roots too compact and sitting in water is gonna cause root rot for these guys. So really well-draining mix, such as the a cactus succulent mix. This is the Espoma organic cactus mix for succulents, palms, and citrus. Um, anything like this is going to be a really good soil option for these guys. So, that is all that we have for the care on the cotyledons today, so it's time to get to our fun announcement. Um, so for National Indoor Plant Week, we have some exciting news. I'm gonna move these out of the way so I can show you. Um, we are doing a giveaway over on our Instagram account, and the plant that we are giving away is the beautiful Epiprimnum pinnatum albo on a totem pole. This guy is huge. He's probably about two and a half, three feet tall, and he is worth $194. So we are giving him away to one lucky winner for free. Go check out the Instagram post that we are going to make on this. And to enter the giveaway, you'll need to like that post, um, comment, the comment the names of three friends, tag their Instagram accounts, um, and each additional three friends tagged is another um, insert into the giveaway. You can also share it on your story um, for another, another enter into the giveaway. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that post so you can win this beautiful boy right here. Um, he was our houseplant of the week a couple weeks ago, so if you do if you do happen to be the lucky winner of this, you can check out how to care for this guy um, in that video, which will be linked above me right over here. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. We are so excited, and we will see you guys next week. Bye!